you're going to see five ways to pipe buttercream garlands. I'm using a six inch cake, but you can also use a pan or a styrofoam cake dummy to practice on. I'm using a number 22 Wilton. It's a star tip. You want to squeeze out just a little bit of buttercream, let it build up at the bottom of the cake and then pull up and then release the pressure as you pull up. If you happen to have a tilting turntable, you want to tilt it at this point. The link is below if you want to check out this one on my Amazon shop. Now we're making upside down U shapes, which is kind of like an upside down garland. And just going from point to point. A five round Wilton. A piece of wax paper that you fold into eighths makes a really great way to mark your cake. You can also use cookie cutters to mark garlands or just a dab of buttercream. If you want to add any extra touches, such as these dots, do that before you do the garlands. Again, it's a number five tip. And I'm also using my Italian meringue buttercream. If you want that recipe, it's below in the description box for you. For our first garland, we're going to use a 103 petal tip. The wide end of the tip is going to be against the cake. And you're going to angle it slightly and just make a ribbon. You want the buttercream to actually be touching the cake the entire time. Practice this one a lot before you actually do it on a cake. It does take some practice to get used to the amount of pressure that you need and the speed so that it doesn't turn into a ruffle. Now we're using the star tip again. We're going to make the simplest of all a star garland. Place the tip directly onto the cake and squeeze the buttercream. Once the buttercream starts coming out, just build it up a little bit and then release the pressure, then pull the tip away. Use the ribbon garland above as a guide. A leaf 352 is next and you're going to make a leaf ruffle or a leaf garland. Again, these are fairly easy to do. Just go back and forth or left to right as you're piping the garland. Here's the position that you want your tip to be at when you're piping. If you want to bring the design to the top of the cake, you can make it all come together by piping upside down U's or upside down garlands on top of the cake. And I'm marking the cake here with a cookie cutter first. I'm using a 14 star and I'm going to just go back and forth in a zigzag motion, getting it a little thicker at the peak and then making it thinner as I bring it down to the end. And you can do this with any of the tips. I just wanted to show you a different way that you could make a garland and you can also do this on the side of the cake. You can use the same tip to make a border on the ribbon. You can also use it to make a garland all by itself. Basically I'm just doing a whole sampler cake of different kinds of garlands that you can do and layering upon layering makes it even more interesting. And now finally for the ruffle, we're going to do a 103 tip, wide end down, left to right, motion back and forth, 
and then follow the guide of the ruffle above. I added a few more touches, the little buttercream flowers at the top there. If you want to see how to do those, I will leave a link at the end of the video for you and also below. And I'm just putting some fresh flowers on the cake as well. I also have tutorials on how to do that. These are just from my garden. This is just a sample cake. I hope you like it and I'll see you guys soon.